everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Subsistence, and we are now in Season 2 and Episode 184. Well, early morning normally means one of a few things, but uh, yeah, today we're going to go down and visit our friend Alpha again. Um, just a little quick update too, by the way, Bravo decided to eventually attack. Um, yeah, it was like a couple of days later. I remember Jay saying something about they can sometimes come back and attack late in the day kind of thing, so... Yeah, funny that. Um, but that's alright. Um, we had to deal with him, and uh, it was only the one guy. Um, he didn't get blown up by a Claymore, I don't think. But, well, I don't really know, because i got a feeling there was an extra claymore over here. There's one at the tree, one there. I think there was one here in the front of the base, and I did hear an explosion, so I don't know whether he got partially damaged, but, uh... Anyway, we're going to go for a, uh, a run down. We'll pick up whatever we can. I'm not too fussed about Mr. Rabbit. I did check on the map overnight, and, uh... It looks like it's relatively clear in terms of the, um the rogues. Probably won't be relatively clear in terms of animals. Let's see if we can scoot up. There's a bullwinkle up here. And there's a bear. We'll just avoid both of those guys. Yeah, so it's early morning, so we should be right to, um, travel down, have a fair bit of time during the day to get to Alpha and that. Um, by the way, hey, guess what? I uh, When I was looking on the uh, the map for rogues... Jeez, uh, animals aren't making it easy for me. Um, I saw Bravo's light. So, he's kind of back, I guess. Good old Bravo. So I saw a light from Alpha, Bravo and Charlie last night. So, all the hunters look like they're doing well. Wouldn't mind finding, um, wouldn't mind seeing Bravo at some point with a few more guys. Like every time I go there, he seems to only have one, maybe two at the most. I tend to get more guys from out of Alpha. I mean, you know, Charlie's like eight guys. So he's quite a, um, like quite a battle. I might go through the water this time. Have a look at what we can see. Don't think there's an animal here. Yeah, we'll cut right through, I think. So this time round, by the way, I've left a fair bit of stuff, so... I haven't really got what you would call a full inventory. Ah, oh, I forgot the... Damn it! I forgot the stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back, aren't I? Uh, Alpha's only got one door though. Yeah, but do I want to stand there and just beat down on the door? Not really. He's <laughs> true. Oh, I seriously thought about just going ahead of it. Oh man. Anyways, that was a nice little grinding run that consumed a lot of your morning troop. Fantastic. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what I pick up now, I'm going to return it to base. Hopefully I can go down there without having too many animals to have to avoid. Oh, I had it all put aside and then I thought, ah, oh, no, I'll do it in the morning when I've got more time. So what did I do? I went out and grinded. I don't run into um, an animal along here. Got a chest. Oh dear. Oh, so much for the early start there, Trev. Strawberry! Can't miss out on the strawberry. Oh dear. Yep, I, I think I had... was it... I think I had a couple of Molotovs and a couple of, um, grenades. And I thought, oh, I'll go out and grind. Oh, I don't want to lose them. I'll, you know, make sure I've got enough space on me and all that. So I put everything back. 
Oh dear, and I forgot to take them with me. Fantastic, Trev, fantastic. Yeah, I'll leave that bit of fibre there. Alrighty. Pick up what we need to pick up. Um, I had that, 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 that. Let's just put back a few of these things, so don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that. Uh, don't need that. I might keep the extra kind of food on me, I think. Oh, I've got electrical components on me as well. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, everything's a little bit mixed up for me at the moment because um, I fed the chickens. Did the um, plants, you know, made sure they're all fertilised and whatnot. So, good old ATV still okay there. All right, take two. Let's try this again. Gonna go the same way. I tell you what. Ah, uh, you know, I can't not kind of pick up stuff if it's right in my way, kind of thing, but. Um, how about we try going back almost the same way we came down, because it seemed pretty clear. Hope that's not a huge mistake and I run straight into something, but... Oh look, I've got the shotgun out. Should make a difference. I know I just avoided a um, piece of fibre then as well. I'm kind of making up ground, I suppose. Makes you feel a bit nervous whenever you see a little green name tag like that. Yeah, I'm running out, running the rabbit almost. <laughs> Give you a race, little rabbit. All the way down to Alpha Base, eh? Anything that could stuff this up doing this is that if the game decides to throw an animal in and I'm not expecting it. There you go, we're almost back to where we were. Yeah, lost a few hours. Anyhow, it's only alpha, it's not like it's going to take too long. It's only one door, I think, so... There's that damn bird! Come here! Um, off camera, he... Uh, I was testing him, I saw him a long way away. And I killed, I think it was a rabbit. And I was just waiting, just almost baiting him. And then I thought, no, I'll, I'll just pick it up. And then just as I picked it up, I heard the flapping of wings and looked up. And I'm going, yeah, he must dive bomb at like 200 miles an hour or something <laughs> to get down there that quick. It was um, a bit of a shock. Grab me onions, something else to eat. What if I outrun the animals or something? There's not too many around here at the moment. Which is a good thing. Don't speak too soon, Trev. You know how you do that. Quite often in games, you speak, say something, and then it happens anyway. Oh, don't mind the scrap. That was pretty good. We could, if there was time, uh, pop into or Outpost 1 and pick up some more ore that's probably in the mining drills. Could do that. And I did make, back at the main base, uh, another lockpick. But I kind of didn't really want to be um, absolutely chockers with food and other items. But I'm probably going to get some of these things anyway. During my um, visit to the Alpha base and his loot bundle and whatnot. this dog. Hang on, is that gunshots or is that... that sounds like gunshots. Could... Oh, I didn't see any rogues on the map whatsoever. Down here. Alright, where is Alpha? Where is he today? down there.
Alpha won't mind me picking up this crate, will he? Uh, he will. sound and didn't react to that at all. Where is he? Come on. Fix yourself, Drew. Fix yourself. Stop moving. Finally. Um, now, that's two guys, right? Where's his little... Where's your bag, dude? Where's your bag? Where did I kill him? Oh, way up here. Oh, see, he's got weapon parts. I was thinking before I came down, oh, I need to find out where I can get some more weapon parts from, but I think it's more of the attacks on these guys. Have to watch out for a claymore too, by the way. Oh, of course it's got a rain. Man. Now, last time I came down here, um, he didn't have a claymore. I don't think. Sorry, I've just seen scrap sitting there. I think that could be it for him. Can't see a claymore. That's the worrying part, isn't it? Kind of want to go over to the fire, actually. Um. Um. Maybe we just do a Bernie first. Sorry dude, but you know, your house is on fire. Not sure what's easier actually, making grenades or molotovs. Well, they normally have grenades in there anyway. So I guess if you, you know, you raid the base you almost get your grenades back. Alright, we're gonna drop a grenade right at the door. Half the time it just rolls down anyway. Jeez. Alright, that should be enough damage, right? I think that was about 60 or something. I'm really, really not expecting anyone else here. But you never know. And that fire that's out there just to the side there? Yeah, wouldn't mind. I'll grab the ash out of it, maybe. Of course, this all depends on how much loot I get out of here, because um, I don't have an awful lot of space, seeing as I picked up a lock crate on the way down. Man, just as well I did take some stuff out of my inventory. Wow. Alright, everyone ready? Ooh, he's there. Ah, oh, through the... <laughs> oh, I'm pretty certain I shouldn't have been hit then. Ah, oh, little punk boy. Man. No door there. Oh, he's got stuff in there. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, that's worth it. Look at all the shotgun shells and the grenades. Actually, I've managed to fit everything in. Amazing. I'll swap that over. Um, oh, gee, he's got a fair bit of ash. Um, seeing as I'm getting a bit low on food, how about we cook up that while... Um, got a chance to, hey. Now, is there much else up here? What does he have? I can fit all that in. I don't think there's anything else, hey. Hmm. So, I'll, can I fit that in? Hmm. Biofuel, I can't do much with. Holy dooly, I actually wrapped around my shotgun shells. Oh, that's a bit unusual, and I don't normally do that. Um, I could come back, because I'm not f well, do I need these seeds? I probably don't need these seeds. Tomato seeds I wouldn't mind. Uh, I suppose I could take them. Hmm. Come on, 
guys, hurry up, I wanna... I could, I could just go back to the L or Outpost 1 and then come back, I suppose. A fair bit of gear there, though, hey? Gee, it's taking a while. There you go, there's no veggies I can eat, either. Tell you what, I might throw them, I might take that. Now, I don't think there was a claymore around here, was there? Can't really see one. Take that. Now, if I go back up this way, I don't think there's going to be a claymore. There's a deer. So there is some more stuff there, I guess, but... Not really the end of the world if I leave it there, I suppose. So while the storm is on, just be aware that there's dogs and bears and all sorts of stuff around. Don't worry, Mr. Deer, I'm not really, or Mrs. Deer, I'm not really chasing you. I'm just skedaddling over here to all Outpost 1. I'll have to obviously leave a couple of things behind so I've got space. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> it's two grizzlies there. It's almost like they're guarding the place. I wonder if I've got enough space for all this loot. I do. Anything I want that scrap though. And of course, yes, I know. You want to come right over. Make it hard for me to get to the base. I know. guys stay over there. I'm seeing like medicinal leaves on the ground there that you kind of want to go and pick up. What is this? Another dog. That's right, and then when I walk in here, you skedaddle. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, I can put the oil back in there. I do have tomato seeds down there. Oh, that's not bad. Um, 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 um. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have a fridge down here. I could have put some stuff in. But anyway. Um, I've got two spare slots. Really need something to up my calves. Now there's... Oh, hang on a second. Uh, it'll probably take care of itself, won't it? Hang on. Hang on, let's just go upstairs and take... I think I've got tomatoes on the in the... The veggie bed up here. I do. Alright, let me just pick these guys. And then in here, I'm going to replant them. They'll, they'll deal with it themselves. There's a bit of fertilizer and stuff, but at least I can have some carbs and stuff from doing that. It's so handy having that extra um, veggie patch up there. Power wise, oh, well, way up to 2000. How much is in here? 37, what did I, oh that's right, I ended up with almost too much, hang on, I could just eat them and lose them, so to speak, is there anything I can really just push in here, I could just put an extra couple of shotgun shells down there I suppose, I've got arrows but, and I could make them using the extra casings and the gunpowder and stuff I've got, but, um, gee I did pick up five, Weapon parts. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm I'm definitely gonna have to do more of that then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I've got a couple of tomatoes to eat on the way home. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah. There's a bit of stuff in here. Oh, I could always. Mm, could have always put the biofuel in there too. Like I'm trying to look around to see in my inventory what I could have swapped, but. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could. Not much point keeping that stuff there. Alright, I think that's all good. Alright, we'll save the game. Go for a run back home. Where's Buffhead the dog? Oh, the bear's right there. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Jeez! Um, do I really want to go around the back way? Look, I don't even want to pick up medicinal leaves. Here we go, we're running past him. Okay. 
Yeah, I know, he's angry. Angry bear, right? Angry, angry bear, and he's looking at me. As if I'm lunch. Well, leaving you behind, dude. Oop. Okay, chicken. That's a, that's a crate. I should be well and truly far enough away from Mr. Bear. And he's just stopped. Ah. Oh. Oh, damn it. Um. Can eat it. Can't really do much about it, can I? Um. Just gonna have to leave it. Can't get everything, Triv. Now, where was that dog? Where did I see a dog? Maybe it wasn't a dog, it was a rabbit. Go, little rabbit, be free! Actually, it's not that late in the day, is it? No, it's not too bad. It's not like I'm going to run home in the dark or anything. I can see a bear who's guarding a crate. There's crap there too, though. Can I sneaky, sneaky? Can I chase the rabbit? The rabbit's noticed me. Oh, near the bears. <laughs> Oh, there's another bear. Oh, we're running around the horn. There we go. He's going to get peeped off with me. How can we stretch him away from the crate? Oh, we can. Come up here. Where is this dog now? I do run into a dog as well. Do you realise that this bear is a pain in the... He's still coming. What? Is it a level 2 or something? Maybe we should just shoot it. Put him out of his misery. No, I'm not running away anymore. <laughs> I got in early with the first shot! Your brother up there is looking down at me. Now, I'm not going to be able to take all this, am I? I want that. Can't do anything about that. I'd love to take the meat home, but maybe I should drop the radio. I've got like so many radios, it's not funny. Alright. Now, yeah, where was that crate? Don't tell me it despawned. No, there it is. Um, I'll go wash my hands in a sec. I'm not going to use my own water. Fit all that in. Amazing. Now, where, where was the dog? I heard the dog. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Alright. Phil, got a free run to the water's edge. Wash my hands of all that crappy stuff I just picked up. There you go. Washed off. Nice and clean for the journey home. Hopefully game doesn't throw me a curveball. Or another bear or a dog. Still feels bad. Well, I was trying really, really hard not to consume too much in the way of shotgun shells dealing with all this stuff, but. Yeah, the way we came down, hopefully it hasn't put another bear or dog or whatnot up here. It's kind of. F oh, there's a bird nest just there. Look at that. I go up and get some premium feathers. Bring out my climbing... my climbing claws. Look at that. I didn't realise there was one just there. Hmm. That's interesting to know. Might have to come back and visit that, I think. I think any opportunity I get to steal from the bird is a good thing. Now, I might go up this top little path and just hope I don't run into a, a cougar. Might might actually see one from a distance, but... So the animals are kind of relatively aggressive. If they even catch wind of you, they're kind of like more likely to chase you. It's actually better to see the cougar. If you can see him up there somewhere, you go, oh, he's probably not down here then. This is kind of his territory, so have to be a little bit careful. I can't even pick up the blueberry. 
Oh well. Uh, no, I can't. Oh well. Of course there has to be a dog just there. Oh, there's a tight there's a cougar just there. Oh, for crying out. <laughs> Jeez. Stop talking about stuff, Trev. You just bring it on yourself all the time. Go down through here then, probably run into a bear. Stop saying stuff! There is a bear down there. Oh, there's a bear down there. Man! Oh, crying out loud, Trev. Which way are we going? <laughs> Jeez! What is that? Oh, at least that's just a chicken. Oh, now it's raining. <laughs> yeah, fantastic weather we have in subsistence at the moment. Hopefully all the animals, I'm not talking about rabbits or chickens, can just give me a break. I just want to get back home. A cougar, then a dog, and another bear or two. I'm sure the AI does that on purpose. Sorry. You can take all that, Trev. Up another crate. At least we're getting some good loot. Some stuff obviously we can't take. Can't even eat an apple. Kind of almost need just um another. Oh, geez, stuff everywhere here. Hey, I'm just gonna pick up what I can. That's quite a few crates. Stuff. Well, pretty successful in terms of the amount of loot, I suppose. And those weapon parts, yeah, look, it's gonna have to be a case of if I want the lever arch or lever, is it lever arch? Lever action rifle and the uh, double barrel shotgun, I'm gonna have to go and knock off the hunters constantly to keep getting as many of these weapon parts as I can. Oh dear. Alright, let's see if we can put away some of this stuff. They actually did last fairly long, didn't they? Put away that. I'm gonna have to cook up that. Put away some ammo. Ammo, ammo. Those, those. Those. Might as well cook up a whole bunch of that, a whole bunch of that. That, the rest of this we can just put in there. I forgot to put away the adhesive. We can put away that while we pick up that. And then we can use one of them, one of them. Could grab a potato and an onion. We'll sort a lot of that out. While they're cooking up. That and then I'm putting back these guys. I might just put that down there too because I can take that. Remember to take that back with me, I suppose. Oh, that's all out of whack, isn't it? This is what I kind of had before, so make sure I don't burn mistakes. Good timing. I think I'm gonna get to that that back. Yeah, that'll run for quite a while. Hmm, power's up pretty high anyway. Time for some lights, Trev. Well, I don't know. Um, I, I have no choice. I think I'm just going to have to keep returning to these hunters one after another on a regular basis to get our um, weapon parts up. Yes, um... I mean, you need like 20, I think it's 20, just, was it 15? Just, just to make the gun, and then you've got all that repair that goes on. Uh, hang on a let's have a look. So, to, oh, that's right, I was making some glass jars. So, lever action rifle needs 20 weapon parts. I've made the recurve bow, so I used up 15. And there you go, the double barrel needs 20 as well. 
So that's just to make it, not to upgrade it to different points. I've only got 24. Well, yeah, that's gone down an awful long way. Anyway, what can I do about it? I just have to keep attacking the the hunters, I guess, and keep increasing um, as much as I can. So I've got good news is I've got a fair few um, pieces of ammo still. What did I use? A few rifle rounds initially outside of Alpha's base. Oh, I went, I wasted a lot with that guy up on the veranda. Man, it's annoying when I do that. But anyway, um, shotgun shells are the best thing at the moment. I've hardly been using it, which is really good. I might put some of these back. I don't need that many. If you hold down a shift and then you double click, like click fast enough, I think it just shifts the whole lot over. I might try to keep 30 of most things. I'm not too fussed about the 9mm. Got so much of that ammo. Alright, well, not too bad, I suppose. Jeez, it's really raining at the moment. Um. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I think in the future I'm just going to have to keep... You might see me doing a few more constant battles. Because if I take one day to sort out Alpha, and then one day again to sort out Br Bravo, the problem is I kind of have to wait then for the revenge attack, so... It's almost like day one, Alpha attack. Day two, wait for the revenge. Day three, Bravo attack, and so on. So, and I guess most of, I think Jay was saying, most of the loot kind of tends to come back as at a, a, at least two days later or something, so you, you got to wait two or three days anyway. In fact, really what I should do now is probably look at, um, wait for the revenge attack, and then, um, I might go and attack Charlie next. Got to get back to the caves too, like, there's no urgency in it, because I've already got, you know, a ton of, um, black crystal and normal crystal. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's that? 158 crystal. And I've got like 168 or something crystal ore. Black crystal ore, I've got 20, is it 29? And I can't see what that is, but I've got a few black crystal. I think I've got some upstairs in the lathe as well. And yeah, look, let's face it, most of my iron fragments are absolutely flying along, so... They're pretty much as happy as Larry. Let me just clear this out so I can see what I've got. Where's that going down there? So I should be making... Now, Courtney mentioned this as well about making uh, the fiery 4-4 um, four, four rounds. I've got to do that. I've really got to do that because look how much of this phosphorus I've got. So hang on, where is it being made again? Is it in here? Holy crap! That was quick! He's here already! Oh, at least we can use the lights. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. He's our good old friend, Alpha. <laughs> Let's just trade shots with the bows, will we? He's gonna hit that. Hey! Throwing stuff like that. Hey, there's another one. <laughs> hey! That's more like it, isn't it? Come on, come into that. Oh, wow, that was a headshot and he still survived it. He doesn't throw a grenade at me or something. Oh, wow. Ha ha. Oh, 
Oh, how quickly is he running off? Oh, really? Is he running? Hang on. Did he just run? Is he in the water? Oh, he is too. <laughs> I killed him from a distance. Oh, I don't know what's funnier. He was trying to get away, and I hit him just as he was getting out of the water on the other side of the lake. That's funny. I'm sorry, but that is funny. Alright. Oh, wow. So, I'm picking up more weapon parts on doing that. Sorry, dude, you look like a cross. There's a doggy there that I might have to take out, but I'm getting his little saddle of loot because it could be worth a bit. I'm assuming he's still here somewhere. Way over there. Sorry dog, but you have to go. One wasted bullet. Quick, hurry up. I'll make sure I get the other guy before he disappears, dude. There he is. Ah! <laughs> Oh, look, another weapon part. Yeah, see? That was so funny. I've never seen that before. That is hilarious. So he basically just... Oh, man. <laughs> just went... I've had enough. I'm out of here. Just lucky for me in one way, too, because it became morning just in the right time for me to be able to see a little bit better because I couldn't see him in the water at all. Hey, look. What my base looks like with the lights on. When it's kind of semi morning, I suppose. Sweet. Alright, well. Guess what, people? We don't have to wait for Alpha's uh, revenge attack. <laughs> yeah, that would have chewed through a little bit of power doing that. Anyway. Oh, how cool is that? Put away that. You don't need the lights now. Oh well, all compacted into one episode. Well, wow. amazing game, thanks very much. I'll eat that steak while I'm doing that. Uh, I could probably just put this other raw steak back in there, I suppose. There's a whole bunch of... I don't know why I'm picking up so much of that stuff. The blueberries. Uh, I can go there. No casings, the grubbies. I've got to do something with these grubs too. I'm getting way too many grubs. And that and that can go back. Alright, grab myself a quick drink. Well, that was very interesting. And the fact was, I got five weapon parts from the attack on him. And then I got five when he came and uh, performed his little revenge attack on me. That was pretty amazing. I like that. That was a pretty fun episode. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. A little bit more of that so I can get some more of my weapon parts up. I really do need more. Anyway, we've gone basically a whole day in subsistence. Back to... Well, early morning but hidden by the clouds it is. Anyway. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. That was quite fun. Um, attacking him in the first place, but then having the revenge attack and some of those stupid things that uh, occurred, but yeah, I might have to go and fix up some of the base. Uh, where did he hit? It was 1500, 1500, no, 1284 or something. Yeah, it's so good having the base upgraded to this iron that it really does help a lot. Alright everyone, while the storm starts to activate, I'm going to leave this episode. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Uh, if you have, you can really help the channel and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.